सो हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन आई एम पुष्पक पंडित एंड यू आर वॉचिंग मी ऑन माई यूट्यूब चैनल बी बुकेश सो इफ यू आर अ क्लास टेन स्टूडेंट ऑफ आई सी एस सी बोर्ड दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी हेल्पफुल फॉर योर अपकमिंग टू टू थ्री मंथ फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ योर आई सी एस सी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन बोर्ड ओके पर्टिकुलरली इन दिस वीडियो You are going to get the important question types which ICSC ask for periodic table chapter, which is your chemistry chapter one. Okay, and guys, if you want important question or different types of question in subjects like physics, chemistry, and math, and also computer, then do let me know in the comment box. And the most important thing that if you want to receive such update for the important question series for ICSC 2021 batch then hit the subscribe button to our channel and that's all you will get notified each time when i upload a new video okay so guys let's start our video session and along with the discussion of all the important question i would also be putting efforts towards the things which you should not miss out okay and particularly if i talk about this chapter in this chapter you need to keep focus on the periodic table yes i know that you already know you need to learn the periodic table the group a elements in this periodic table and uh, it is not necessary to learn till period 7 okay it is not completely necessary to learn till period 7 you can learn up till 6 or 5 also but the main motive is that you should learn all the elements of these groups okay the next which should be talked about is that all the trends and all the properties which are given in the chapter like trends in atomic size or atomic radius or ionization energy electron affinity and all the terms which have been given you should be completely thorough with all that okay so i hope that each one of you who is watching this has a good knowledge about every term and along with all the terms and the trends you should also have a good amount of knowledge about the reason means why this increases going down the group or why this decreases going across the period you should have a good knowledge about all these points okay so guys now let's take a look on the different types of question one by one the first type is the easiest type which comes in icsc of one marker okay this type of question usually comprises of true and false means i think they ask a straight forward question whether this statement is correct or not you can clearly see the questions like atomic size increases from left to right across a period or ionization potential increases from left to right across a period and these type of question so you can definitely get these type of question these are nothing but one marker question and uh, if you basically know all these terms which i have discussed in the in the starting of this video that i have asked you that you should be thorough with all these terms so if you are having a good knowledge about all these terms and whether they increase or decrease going above the group or going down the group or going across the period like that then you can definitely get the marks in all in this type of question okay and one thing i missed to tell you that this question was asked in 2008 okay so i am not only going to tell that this type of question may came or come okay but i will also show you the proof that this question has been asked in the past few year in some or the other year okay and you know that any question may get repeated who knows okay so now let's take a look at the second type of question so guys this is the second type of question which you should look for and you can clearly see that this question is asked in 2009 In this question, we have been given that among period two elements, okay, A, B, C, D means these are the options. The one which has highest electron affinity is what? Okay, so this is the second type of question which you may get. You may be given a period or a group, and then you would be given some elements name, and based on certain properties which you have read in the chapter, you would be asked that which has highest electron affinity or which has the least electron affinity or which has the highest ionization energy or metallic character, and something like that. So this is the second type of question which ICSC asks, and in this type of question, uh, I think you have got that you need to learn. predictable and all the properties very carefully okay 
सो गाइज दिस इज द थर्ड टाइप क्वेश्चन विच यू विल गेट अ बॉक्स टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन and before proceeding further let me tell that this was also a part of 2009 paper the second type of question which i have discussed okay so this is the third type of question in which a box would be given and how can you extract the information from here you should be very careful about that why you can clearly see that in this period okay the number has been specified okay and not the actual name the number has been specified as 1 2 13 14 and so these are the things which you should look for and if you look here then the specific name of that atom has been given and if you look more carefully then there are some simple alphabet letters which has been given like a d and something like that okay so you you should get the information and you should extract the information from this type of question like this okay so guys i know that most of you might be thinking that what i am trying to say see the first question the first question asks that which is the most electronegative element in this table suppose your answer or the answer for this question is this 17 suppose okay then your actual answer would be 17 but what the mistake happens by the student is that they write or they try to write the actual name which belongs to this 17 atomic number or the element which belongs to this cell okay so this is the main confusion and it should not be written the actual name because here the element name is 17 so therefore the your answer should be 17 understood this is what i am trying to say so use the information very carefully okay see the second question how many valence electrons are present in g okay so you have already seen that this is the question which can be made and the second type is that simple that what is the valence electron which is present in g so simply it is 5 because it belongs to the 5 so i am not going to discuss mainly the answer but i am trying to say that there can be multiple type of question which can be made out of this box the next type of question which can be made is like which is the most metallic element which is the most non metallic element and all the properties which you have seen till now so guys this is the four type question and this question was mainly asked in the year 2010 what happens in this type question is that you would be given an atomic number of certain element okay and uh, depending upon that you would be asked that to which period it belongs or you can be asked that to which group does it belongs okay and i hope that you know that how you can solve this type of question the second type and the easy type question is that the number of valence electron in the element and whether the element is metallic or non metallic and some simple questions in this type of question so the main type is that to which period or group okay this is very important because how you can tell the period and the group by just looking at the atomic number you should know okay so those students which are very good in giving reasons okay this type of question is for you this was asked in the year 2012 okay and particularly in this type of question you would be needed that you should answer that why the ionization potential increases across a period or some other questions like the other properties like why the metallic character increases doing going down the group and you should be very careful about the keywords okay don't write your own but write the answer which is perfectly for this type of question and i would like to stop you here because i want to ask that whether you want to answer me the questions as i uh, go on reading the type of question from the next video or you just want that i should give you the type of question okay kindly comment down in the comment box and tell me okay and the next type of question uh, like giving reasons only that why the alkali metals are good reducing agent and some other questions like that okay so this is the next type of question and uh, in this type of question you would be given a simple statement and based upon that there would be given four different different options and you need to pick one this question was specifically asked in the year 2014 so i hope that along with the type of question which i am uh, revising for you all guys you are also getting a kind of previous view that how icsc asked in different different years okay so uh, my opinion is that kindly read all the options very carefully because 
they would seem as all the options are correct okay but there uh, might be possibility that you may pick up a wrong option okay you uh, might be thinking that option b and you could have written answer c so these questions are very easy but you need to focus and you need to write the correct option okay now the seventh type of question this type of question we have already discussed that you would be given four options okay but this is what i am trying to say this question was specifically asked in the year 2015 okay it was asked in the year 2015 and in this type of question you would be given some elements of a group okay you are given some elements of a group and along with the element you also need to answer why means uh, let me read the question that which of these elements will form ions most readily and why so you not only have to focus on group 2 but you also need to put focus the elements which are only given in this question okay don't uh, take any other options the elements like beryllium magnesium uh, calcium strontium and barium okay these are the options from group 2 and you need to pick up an answer among all these options so write the answer and the mistake which happens is that we only write the answer but we forget to explain the why here and this is the uh, mistake uh, through which you can lose your marks next is the state the common feature in the electronic configuration of these elements so you can definitely answer this type of question that all are metal and something like that which you can so guys this is the last type of uh, question which can be made according to me and uh, this question was asked in the year 2019 and uh, you should know that this is the year in which i gave my boards okay so this question was asked in my time and what happens in this type of question is that you would be given some elements okay you would be given um, some elements and based on the thing which is determined in the bracket okay the based on the thing which has been determined inside a bracket you need to arrange them okay suppose i pick the first question the first question is that the elements are potassium lead calcium and zinc and in this question you need to put the elements in the increasing order of reactivity okay so note that how you should write the answer suppose the first uh, most reactive is potassium then comes what calcium okay the next comes suppose zinc and the last is pb okay so you need to put these signs okay so you need to put basically these signs put these signs like greater than or less than means use these signs to perform this type of question i am not telling that this question was asked in the year 2019 also it has been asked in some other years also and all the questions which i have discussed today has been asked in some other years also but my main motive is to give you and provide you the type of question and not the year in which it was asked but in this type of question the main motive is that you should use the sign instead of writing just the uh, element like first is potassium comma you don't use comma okay uh, either write greater than sign or less than sign which will depict the increasing or the decreasing order according to the question so that's all for today if you want to give any suggestion or any improvement in my videos do let me know in the comment box okay